Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? I hope you are doing very, very well. So, I am very grateful for you being here on my channel. I just want to start off by saying that. I've been contacted by a couple of people, some subscribers, who said they checked their subscription thing and found out that during an update of their phones that they were unsubscribed to my channel. I don't know how that happens. That's a tech thing. So I'm asking you to give it a check. If you're listening to me, look and see that you're subscribed. And um, if you're not, go ahead and hit that button again. I don't know what happens. And if you're not and you never have been, consider joining this amazing community. And I say that about this community as a whole. It is so fantastic. And I'm just so, so proud of it and you and everything about it. So consider giving us a shot. Anyway, and to those who are subscribed and have been, thank you. I appreciate you as well. And as ever, I always appreciate all your comments and, and your thoughts and the things you share with me. Some of them are wonderful and uplifting and some of them are hard stories. And um, you talk about these kinds of channels and videos bringing you a bit of comfort. And I know I speak for all ASMR creators that um, that is our highest and best wish for you is that you're comforted somehow. So for me, you know, I have a blah, blah, blah voice to offer and, you know, I can drone on for a long, long time. So if you need a voice to go to sleep to, I'm your girl. <laughs> so anyway, I'm really excited about today's video. It is a May 1940 copy of a good housekeeping magazine. So May 1940, of course, we're approaching the war, the World War II here in the States. Um, it has been going on over in Europe and, you know, so we're entering into a tough time. And it's interesting to see that reflected in the magazine. Um, yes, it's still very... Um, I would say pushy in its consumerism. Ranges and stoves and refrigerators are all new to you know to have in the home, um, and so those kinds of things are being pushed. You know, um, irons and vacuum cleaners and washing machines. You know, versus the scrub tub with a scrub board. So it's, it's, I enjoy looking at it from today's perspective, especially knowing what they were going into in terms of the time, the era. And of course, all the various stories and, you know, um, articles, because these are chock full. Look how thick this is. Chock full of stories. This isn't the kind of magazine that was picked up and gone through, leafed through in a day or two, and then discarded. This was something that you would read. You had lots of reading material over the course of the month until you got your next subscription. Now this is 25 cents. And um, so, you know, I'm, I don't know the conversion rate for the 1940s to now, but I would assume it's very much like today, you know, figure a few bucks at least. So, I'm going to walk through this vintage magazine with you and, of course, give you my thoughts. 
I was not alive during this time, so there are many things I can't speak to. But some of these products were in fact around even in the 50s, 60s, and into 70s, and some into today. So we'll go ahead and look through that. And as always, I love your comments. I love your thoughts on these things. Um, I can't always reply, but if you see a heart, that means I've read it and I appreciate it. So I just sometimes get a little overwhelmed with a you know a lot of plates up in the air right now. A lot of things going on here at this household. So I appreciate you understanding that. So let's go ahead and get started on this good housekeeping magazine from May of 1940. So here is the May of 1940. Here it is on the side. I have to be very careful. 25 cents. Um, yeah, it's starting to get a little fragile on the spine. Okay. Let's get started. Yeah, it's starting to split here, so I'm going to be very careful. Now, The first color ad, and not much was in color during this time, is Bonami. And actually, I think we still have Bonami. I know we did, you know, with me growing up. Just a scrub and a cleanser. And <laughs> pink toothbrush, which means your gums bleed. So, Ipana is the toothpaste that they are advertising. So, if your toothbrush shows pink, it's a warning, and that is true even today. Okay, working women. Take a money-saving tip from these working women. Now, this is Listerine toothpaste. So, it's May of 1940. So, um, that's Mother's Day. And there's a nice article about Mother's Day here. It says, You, my son, have shown me God. Your kiss upon my cheek has made me feel the gentle touch of him who leads us on. The memory of your smile, when young, reveals his face. As mellowing years come on apace, and when you went before, you left the gates of heaven ajar, that I might glimpse, approaching from afar, the glories of his grace. Hold, son, my hand. Guide me along the path. That coming I may not stumble, nor roam, nor fail to show the way which leads us home. Mm. And Grace Coolidge wrote this poem called The Open Door. And she wrote this on the fifth anniversary of the death of her son, Calvin. And it was first published in this magazine in October of 1929. And so they're reprinting it again on Mother's Day. Oh my goodness. 
And then we get into the beauty, of course, Kame soap. Now, we did have that growing up, Kame. Maybe they still have it. I don't know. You tell me. Let Kame help you to a lovelier skin. <laughs> it's great new improvement in beauty soaps. Finest GE refrigerators you've ever seen. You know, this, the refrigerator was such a big deal, you know, in the 30s and 40s. I do remember one of my aunts, the one who raised my mom, so she would have been like a grandmother to me, talking about using ice boxes, you know, and getting the ice truck would come and you'd get a big block of ice and you'd put it under the, um, in, in the ice part of the refrigerator on the bottom and it would just keep everything cool. Oh, look at this. Bates fabrics, bedspreads and curtains. Where, where, except in America, could you find such a bedspread under $10? and the drapes to match for only $3.50. Town hall, letters from the readers. I won't do a lot of reading because this is actually a, a big issue. What to talk about when you go out on a date? <laughs> And, of course, putting everything in a gelatinous mass Oy, with mayonnaise in the middle. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> these look like little mouse bodies, don't they? Like little mice. Can you see that? It's actually asparagus. So, the asparagus is an aspic or Gel gelatin mold, and in the center is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Yum. Oh. Okay, here's some more. Um, no. Libby's peaches and pineapple and pears. And let's see, movies that have come out. Cornflakes, the original cornflakes. Oh, Ritz crackers. Look how far back those go. I love Ritz. I could, when I allow myself, I could eat an entire sleeve of Ritz cookies. I could. And you know what else I love? Are the Cheez-Its. I could eat probably a whole box of Cheez-Its. I don't, but I could. Oh, this is great. Mother's Day of Reckoning. And what they're showing here in these cartoons is for instance, tell this little girl of her superiority and you'll lose all your authority. Make him say he's only four and you'll hear him lie some more. Nice of you to take his strife. Can you do it throughout his life? Worse than all the doting others, why can't we have bashful mothers? And stop before you get to this. Too, n too late for analysis. So in other words, be a good mom so you don't mess up your kid. <laughs> if that's possible. Oh God, okay. More mayonnaise. So we've got apples. We've got onions. We've got oranges. And prunes. That have cream cheese and cherries in them. 
prunes with cream cheese and cherries, and then a great big bowl of mayonnaise. Oh my God, that's awful, in my opinion. I love the fashion of the 40s. I love the coat dress, the stockings. Do you want to wear longer wearing stockings? This is an interesting article. I read it actually. It's about, it's 1940 and so the war is coming, right, um, to the United States and it's about courage and skill and women getting their degrees and just hitting life hard. I mean, like going at it um, with courage and skill. And um, it's, it's, I really appreciate this article at this time. You know, most of this magazine is about how to be a better homemaker and look prettier and, you know, wear the right pearls or whatever that is. And this is about going out into life and just, you know, really attacking life. And then stories. So these are the things that you would read over time, over the course of the, the few weeks until your next issue. So they had patriotic stories and now love romance stories. Etiquette. Mm. And this is particularly with the State Department and the White House. Who sits on the right? Who's on the left? Who gets served first? Who can't be served at all? So, mm, interesting. Another romance story. Love can be a problem. Again, another romance. Look at her, she's powdering her nose. Yeah, so another story. There was a man and there was a woman. Loves lots of stories, lots of reading. Articles like Skeeting Comes Back, Why Murder Fascinates Me. Okay, this person is into gangster murders. Should you learn to play an instrument? The lady is engaged. I guess that was kind of the, the goal, you know? Little quips from various books hmm, and poems. Longfellow. Hmm, very interesting. The Ticking of Eternity. Okay, this is an interesting cancer and how it's treated. And this is 1940. Wow. Signs to look for. More, more stories. A lot of reading. I mean, this real. This is a magazine you probably read, you know, after for a woman, after the day, the day's work was done, the kids were in bed, dinners cleaned up, and you read a story and put it away, and you know, continue to read it another time. So, actually, Are you a handkerchief twister, a bead chewer? Do you open and close your bag constantly? Are you a hair fusser? 
maybe you've got one of the hundred automatisms. <laughs> Mm. Cotton, all-American cotton primer, washable summer clothes in cotton. Oh, these are cute. You know, I've made dresses like this for my granddaughter. This style never goes out of fashion for little girls. Yeah, I love these dresses. do one of the movies or shows we like to watch. We love British shows and Foils War. Foils War is a great show if you haven't seen it. F-O-Y-L-E-S War. And his assistant, you know, dresses very smartly when, or the women there. She often wears a, an army suit, but um, cute fashion. I love the 40s fashion. Yeah. That's so cute. Gingham, muslin, and seersucker. Stripes and flowers. See, I love this. I love these big poofy sleeves because that's kind of uh, the 80s. That is definitely take, you know, the 80s borrowed this, this great big poofy sleeve. Okay, the meal planner's guide. Men like soup such as beef soup, clam chowder, and vegetable beef. Soups to serve when company comes that will make your children drink more milk. And um, it's all on Campbell's Soups. Oh, look at that car. Wow, big Ford V8. Oh, that's so cool. Cool, fresh, washable, and inexpensive. The moral is, <laughs> wear cotton undies. Dealing with insects. Oh my goodness. Cod liver oil. Cod liver oil. Ugh. Soap. And they still have this soap. Fells naphtha. They still sell that. Baking powder, because she was mortified when she cut into that cake and it was crumbly. Cleansing and finishing cream. They still have pawns, right? A toothbrush. Prophylactic. How Linda Darnell's beauty nightcap keeps glamour in her skin. And she uses Woodbury cold cream. Patterns for cottons, more cottons. Percale sheets. Wow, look at this. Look at this bedroom. That's really cool. Again, cotton. What, why use cotton? Less rigid schedules for babies. If a baby wakes and cries an hour before his regular feeding, and you can find no reason for the crying except hunger, why make him wait? I agree. 
You know, the 60s was all that Dr. Spock, uh, I think it was 50s and 60s, about, you know, the, the rigid schedule that a child should have. And I wasn't like that. It's like, if you're hungry, you eat, you know, as a, as a baby. Making your own corsages. More Frigidaire, that's still a brand. So a six cubic foot refrigerator, 1940, was $112.75. Now this one is $182, wow. Meatloaf, oh, they even have a nice recipe. And it's Heinz ketchup. That's been around for quite a while. 12 new desserts to settle the problems of what you have for dessert in May. So raspberry pie, strawberry pie, or strawberry tapioca pudding, sorry. Orange coconut pie, Spanish cream and strawberry ring, blueberry cake, rhubarb and pineapple cup, banana currant surprise, grapefruit cooler, and blackberry flummery. I don't know what flummery is, do you? Oh my god, look at this. That is so... This must be the strawberry... What is that? The strawberry tapioca Pudding? No. No, this is the Spanish cream and strawberry ring. Oh my goodness. Comparing gas and electric ranges. Oh, here we go. So, the electric range, here are the answers for your electric range, and here is the gas range. So they give you both pros and cons, I suppose, of each. That's cool. I've always liked gas myself. Just more instant. Del Monte fruit, canned fruit, basically fruit in sugar sauce, you know. Oh my gosh, camel cigarettes, that's what this ad is for. Mrs. Oliver de Grey Vanderbilt III. The milder the cigarette, the better. So of course, camels are my favorite. Now. These are camel, camel unfiltered, and I don't know that they even had filters back in this day, but this is what my father smoked up until the day he died. He loved these, and he swore they were high quality, the best cigarette you could smoke. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Wow. Times have changed. You have only 10, so each one should be perfect. How to give yourself a pedicure. Okay. Baking lighter cakes. Better than ever before with Crisco. Are dark eggs more nourishing than white eggs? Hmm, interesting. They don't see any significant difference in their nutritional, nutritional value. Um, hmm. Are Crisco and other vegetable shortenings harmful to the lining of the stomach? And it says, no, they're completely digested in the stomach and intestines and do not you know, cause any problems like that. Mm. Mm, interesting. Cough. 
Listerine. Ooh, Listerine. <laughs> what a, what a, you know, Lister was the scientist, but Listerine likes nothing better than to fight infectious dandruff. Ooh, infectious dandruff. Interesting. Now we get into the ladies don't stink. Why risk frowns when you could have kisses? Win and hold his love with lasting charm. Keep safe from underarm odor and use mum. Stay fresh all day. Oh, here we go. Here's the body shaming. So Dorothy B, you can tell by her shank, is built on the general lines of a tank. But cleaning her windows this difficult way leaves Dot as inert as a bundle of hay. While Christobel, who's so small and slender and small, in sunlight she casts little shadow at all makes her windows glisten with Windex and sprayer and ends the day feeling both fresher and gayer. I cannot make the correlation between a stocky woman or a slender woman washing windows. I don't get that. I hate to be mean, dear, but I do wish you could get my shirts whiter. Okay. Dental cream. Squib dental cream. It's a wonderful windswept feeling. A clean, all-new sensation. Anytime you say so, you can have it in your mouth. They thought of it in Hollywood. Mm. Terraced fireplaces. Tavern-like playrooms. <laughs> Toile, taffeta, uh, draperies, and um, matching wallpaper. And then this bell for the merry month of May, Miss Elaine Shepard. Um, she smokes Chesterfield in her sundial dress. And then linoleum, inlaid linoleum. And look at the washing machine with a ringer. Can you see that right in there? That would have been in the kitchen. We had linoleum growing up. This is funny. A black and white ad advertising light blue walls. Separate beds, of course, for the husband and wife. God forbid should they be seen in the same bed. Okay, Chevy's. Chevrolet, 1940 Chevrolet. Ooh, $720. I'll take a few of those. $761. Oh my goodness. Somebody tell me what that is in today's dollars from 1940. 720 to or 761 dollars. What is that? Here's one 659 dollars. Electrolux. Um, refrigerators. Make your house Clorox clean. Ooh, pretty color. 
Revlon. That's Revlon. Okay. Cashmere bouquet soap. The fragrance men love. And of course, you buy it because of the inferiority complex they give you. Does body odor give you inferiority complex? Well, of course it would. So you buy this soap. Oh, fashion shoes. I love shoes. Cute. Cute shoes. Okay. The beauty clinic. Let's go over tips for you. The beauty clinic. A cluttered purse means you're a scatterbrain. A light purse means that you're a lovely lady. Okay. Got that? How to get the million dollar smile. Don't have lipstick on your teeth. Do see a dentist regularly. Don't, don't type, tighten your lips. I tend to do that. Do use a pleasant mouthwash. Don't indulge in a sweet tooth. Do use dental floss. And don't use an old worn out toothbrush. And do keep your teeth sparkling clean. That's nice, a nice big two page spread on clean teeth. Okay, six easy exercises for the bosom. <laughs> I would have done these <laughs> in my early, early, early years, like my teens. Okay, girdles. Well, they call them corsets. Corsets. No more acrobatics getting in and out of a corset. No more hand-to-hand -hand battles. So what they're advertising is this new zipper type fastener. And remember before I called them bulletproof? Look at that. That thing is bulletproof. Wow. This article is nice. It's about a man's place in the home as well. He should know how to run a house. Fridge, uh, Westinghouse refrigerator. Because look how happy they make you. That is so happy. Wait a minute. Oh, here's a contest. 350 big prizes. $23,000 in modern electric appliances that they're giving away. Refrigerators, ranges, and irons. Hmm. Wow. Beauty Rest by Simmons. Wow, I didn't know that company was that old. Bride budgeting. How to make your first home um, comfortable, um, what you need, a sofa, an easy chair, for both of the husband and wife, um, <laughs> beds, furniture, silver, and of course, the Sunbeam Mix Master. Little Abner, Little Abner. That was, I remember growing up with Little Abner, kind of a southern uh, muscle bound guy. Kind of slow, I think. <laughs> this is all written kind of southern. Rip him apart, second cousin Magoon. He's saying, Oh, delicious. I feel my strength coming back fast. And it's about cream of wheat. Yes, I love cream of wheat. Butter and um, brown sugar. <laughs> Toilet paper. Just 
disposable Kleenex. Hmm. Enough stockings to last a year. Wow. And I call them a gift. But what this is really about is a general electric, a general electric vacuum cleaner. or, you know, the see-through Pyrex. Again, more B.O. Let's just make the hard-working wife nervous about how she smells. So, no one told us that the busy wife, and when she has nervous outbursts, it brings on nervous B.O. Who knew? So when you're yelling at your kids, it makes you smell. So use Life Boy soap. Wow. Gerber's baby food. Ah, uh, Spencer Tracy. It's a movie ad. SOS pads. They still have those. Scrubbing pads. Hoover vacuum cleaners. And this is how you wash your cottons. You do it this way, not with a scrubbing, in a scrubbing tub and a uh, washboard. how to take care with the newfangled washing machine and wringer. And then how to iron your cottons. So they had these big ironing pressing machines. And then of course irons, handheld irons. They're really big on cotton. Very big on cotton. And a Singer sewing machine. If you buy a Singer sewing machine, they throw in three free lessons. That's cool. I like that. Okay. Oh, the San Francisco World's Fair, 1940. Wow. All about getting married in June. Why it has its virtues as the marrying month. More sheets. Oh wow, Avon. Rendezvous with loveliness. Wow, I didn't know Avon went that far back. Johnson's wax for the floors. A kitchen. It's so you can get all these sinks and cabinets and on the FHA plan for $13.51 a month. Wow. But they don't give you a total price. The Frigidaire Electric Range. Even my husband's family says my cooking is great. No pressure. Oh my God, this looks great. Shefford Chevelle, the cheese food of many uses. Take a day off with this quick to fix dinner. So you just put these asparagus, pineapple fritters oh, in the cheese. Ugh. Ugh. And more gelatinous, <laughs> formed, molded. Ugh. Wallpaper. Scotch tape. Interesting. I'll freeze this for a moment. I wanted to point out that they did not have plastic wrap or cling wrap like they do today to put things away in. Um, so most everything, food and leftovers, was wrapped in wax paper or butcher paper 
And so this is why they're advertising the tape. Your club is coming to lunch, and so they give a nice menu to serve. Hmm, starch for your ironing. Improve your ironing. Hmm, hot starch. Biscuit recipes? Hmm. I love a good biscuit. Look at the cute little buttskies for diapers. And then, toilet training made easier and safer with these, with this toilet paper. More stockings, because it was just unheard of for a woman's bare legs to show when she wore a dress or a skirt. Oh, these, these are cute shoes. They look uncomfortable as all heck, but they are cute. Wow. That's something that I think should come back, are these retro shoes. RC Cola. Kelvinator Electric Ranges. Wow. I haven't heard of that brand in a long, long time. More sheets for the bride. Harriet Hubbard Ayer. Makeup or powder and perfume. Brillo pads and soap pads. Have you the courage to be beautiful? Stand up straight, put your head up, hold your head up, and I'll just make you look so, so it's a success course. Wow. More cool looking shoes. Oh, these are awesome, I love these shoes. Larvix. Ooh, to keep moths from eating your wool suits and whatnot. And more girdles. They don't call them girdles. They call them corsets um, or modeling garments. They model your body. Hmm. Foundations. They have all kinds of different names for these things. Corsets, foundations, foundation wear. More nylons or hosiery. A1 sauce. And they show a model Clothes model wins admiration with flavorful meals using A1 sauce. What the heck? I don't get the correlation. Anyway, ah, look at that deviled ham. They still have that back then. Oh my goodness. Oh, cute chess. I love these. Children's underwear. Hmm. <laughs> Salt and pepper sets. When you send in six labels from chicken of the sea tuna. <laughs> More so uh, stockings and shoes. All the ads that toward the back of the magazine. Cleaning products. Ooh, bed bugs, gross. Irons. Look at that. They call it Goss Armor. I told you, bulletproof. It's armor. Hmm. Huh. What is this? 
Louis Philippe lipstick. Hmm. Floor coverings, linoleum. Ovens, tappen, gas range. Earn extra money at home selling magazines for Good Housekeeping, Cosmopolitan, and other leading magazines. So interesting. I wonder what they do if they just, if it's like phone solicit solicitation. Um, no, you speak and send you all the information and supplies. Interesting. Water softeners, Santa flush, they still have that today. Polydent, wow. Parquet margarine, oh. Oh my gosh, Chef Boyardee spaghetti dinners. Italian food, that is so not Italian food. Chef Boyardee, wow. Gas ranges, cleaning products, salt, <laughs> crystal and salt. Shelf liner, interesting. Rugs. Corns and bunion solutions. Oh my goodness. Douchebags. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. That was a thing. That was a thing. Toothbrushes. Jenny Lind furniture. Our first daughter had a Jenny Lind crib. More of the girdles. Maiden form. That's still around, right? Aspirin. Earning extra money. Same ad. Same verbiage. Summer camps. Ah, interesting. Lots of summer camps. College, junior colleges, private colleges. Wow. Military schools. Girls' schools, like finishing schools. Hmm, wow. More middle military. Wow. Vocational schools. That's a lot. This is all about the good housekeeping seal of approval. When you take a trip, have a courier nurse. And the nurse um, cheerfully watches over little travelers, preparing babies' formulas, helping mothers in all kinds of ways. Wow. They're all registered graduate nurses. And they're for babies or the aged and infirm. That's interesting. Huh. Very interesting. A travel nurse. Cords. Look for a good cord when you buy an iron. Clocks. Electric clocks and vacuum cleaners. Hosiery and shoes. Mm. 
Ovaltine. I loved Ovaltine. I still do. I don't drink it, but I really did used to love that. And this is some kind of, what is this? Zotos. The Ultra Perm. Oh, it's a perm. And linoleum floors for people with allergies. Ah, smart. And then the last page, which is a strawberry chiffon pie. Yeah. And that's for a flower, the gold metal flower. So there you have it. Pretty ugly, but I'm sure it tasted just fine. There you have it. I'm wondering if I should try one of these recipes. You know, they look, most of them look so gross and disgusting, but I'll bet they were just fine. I think they were just challenged in their photography department and how to photograph food, and that lasted for several decades because the magazines of the 50s, 60s, 70s, hitting into the 80s, the food looked pretty awful. So maybe I'll make something just as a challenge and see how it comes out. What do you think? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, what you found interesting, or what you liked especially. And, um, I, you know, call me weird, but I love the girdle ads. Just, I feel sad for the women who had to wear them. And that was well up into the seventies. I would say many women into the sixties for sure. And some into the seventies. And, um, you know, I just find them so interesting and I'm going to find one in a, maybe I'll go into some thrift store and try to find an old girdle and show you they even sell them. I'll have to look that, maybe look on eBay, because those suckers were bulletproof, and they would hold in everything. Spanx and all today's shapewear have nothing on these. So, well, as ever, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. I love these retro magazines. I love looking through them and traveling back in time. The 70s are my favorite decade, but I think, you know, that's because I was alive and young in that time. So, <sighs> well, it's time to part. And I wish you so much wellness. I bid you so much peace and love, and I just hope that you are doing well in all areas of your life and staying peaceful and calm as much as possible. So, I'm signing off for now, and I will see you as ever in the next video. Goodbye for now.